That guys is razor wire. During the lockdown, uh, during the serious part of the lockdown, they really had us in here. Now, residents could leave, by the way, that's to keep people out, mostly delivery guys, which uh, there are a lot of. Um, this is kind of a ritzy island, uh, so it's definitely to keep the rabble out. <laughs> people had to walk up to the other bridge. There's two bridges that lead onto the island. People had to walk up to the other bridge to meet delivery guys. Um, they were limited in, in um, who and, and how many could come, but um, I, had, I did meet one delivery guy up there myself. And um, yeah, that's how the island was kept um, isolated during the heavy lockdown. We're in a light lockdown now, light lockdown mode. I just walked out to that bridge and uh, the razor wire and the barricade has finally been taken down. A uh, light lockdown um, basically means that restaurants and coffee shops are not open. Most places for public gathering are not open, but a uh, few stores, stores, uh, well, not all stores, but, but some stores have allowed, been allowed to open. So what this video is, I'm just taking you around the island. Uh, I took this video during the heavy lockdown. And I wanted to show you how deserted everything was. It was like this for two months. Two months. Crazy. Um, they had this uh, ribbon, I guess. It looks like the, um, you know, police do not cross line. They had it up over the sidewalk. I guess to indicate that people shouldn't um, be out walking, but as you can see, it was easy to just walk down the road. I mean, it didn't really stop anything. It kind of looks like they're trying to stop you from flinging yourself into the lake. Um, which, you know, maybe there were people, a few people who wanted to do that. I, I thought about it at times. They, they roped off all the parks, as you can see there on the left. And, um, oh, coming up here, this this uh, bar on the right I thought had gone out of business, but uh, I went by the other day and they are back to take out, to take, take out beer. Come bring your stein and get it filled up. 25% uh, off, which should really be more because the whole reason people go to bars is not to get takeaway. That's a wine shop that had closed. It has closed though. Um, I feel like the pandemic is going to have strongly affected a lot of businesses. There'll be a lot of places, I think, that um, that won't open back up. Uh, but it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be now. It's hard to tell because, like I said, everything is not, not everything is back open. So um, we won't know till till it truly passes and the, the lockdown is totally over, but numbers are very low. They finally published some graphs and some uh, numbers on uh, uh, Hanoi and the, the daily infection rate is very, very low here. Um, I feel, feel like we're nearing the end of lockdown here, but not for Vietnam in total. So I don't know, you know, this is supposed to be a travel channel. I'm hoping to, Make, make the topic, you know, travel, so not lockdown. So um, I, uh, I, I'm hoping to travel at some point, but I don't think I'm going to be outside of Hanoi for a while. Luckily, I do want to, like, the whole goal of the tr channel, oh, there's a dog's ass. That sounds a great thing to get a shot of, wasn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I don't... Um, I, I don't know how when um, uh, travel is going to uh, come back, but I did. My, the whole point of this channel is to do a deep dive in each location. So I, I'm fine with staying here for a while and and trying to see more of Hanoi and show you more of Hanoi. I've been here for almost two years now, and I have a lot of you know video on backlog. Okay, I want to show you guys my neighborhood. You can see the blue dot there is where um, I'm at. That's where I live. 
and I want to show you, I wonder if I can, oh shoot, can I doodle on it? Yeah, here we go. Let's, let's make a red doodle because I think that's easier to see. There we go. All right, so here's where I do my walk. Here's where we start out. So I came out of the house and I went down here. Uh, this area right here is where the uh, razor wire was, and that's where I start my walk. And this is, this is pretty much what I did beforehand anyway. Um, so you go Fu Dran Tran Fu, Tran Vu, and you go around the island. There you go, there you go. And I just want to show you this how the road spirals because it's not immediately obvious. It does that. Okay, and that makes a great walk, and that's what we're doing. All right, so what, what we're doing right now is this is just off the island, just over the bridge. Uh, not the one with the razor wire, the other bridge. Um, and we are headed up to uh, Biahoy. I should probably explain what Biahoy is if you don't know. It basically means draft beer. And the only place draft beer is served is these, um, these sort of usually outdoor, maybe always outdoor uh, drinking establishments that are just very casual and it can be anything from something large like this place I'm showing you because this is one of the places that went under um, but it could be very large like this like this was a pretty big restaurant all of that was tables and you know it was a big deal and uh, families come um, and you get a big layout of food um, and and of course beer uh, and also, and you know, each place has its own character. Some places are just old guys meeting up and, and having a chat and a beer, and um, some are more family oriented. Anyway, so it's it's a fun thing. But that one went under, and that was a big one too. Uh, this is the uh, place that served Fukun. I hope I'm getting that right. It's um, it's basically uh, dough with. Uh, with meat wrapped in it and um, it's famous because it's the first place I think it's supposed to be the first place that served it and uh, that's the, the place you saw just a minute ago and then all of these restaurants have sprung up as well some of them are chain and some of them are not and some of them are you know kind of higher end but anyway this is this intersection right next to my apartment is like famous for this this dish uh, and I will show you that dish probably in another video. I'll have some of it. This is the Buddhist temple.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, leave comments if you want to see certain things in Hanoi that you're interested in. And I will see you guys in the next video.